Hi everybody, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, um, as with every last Sunday of the month, hi Tootsie, Shushi, where are you going? Go back. As with every last um, Sunday of the month, <laughs> my dog's trying to go find food. Um, I'm bringing you a let's get organized hop for your craft room organized by my friend Karen Yego of Yes Please Paper Craft. And today our topic is um, anything to do with ink. Um, so ink and, and colors, well, anyway. So it's supposed to be like ink pads, embossing powder, uh, markers, pencil, whatever, those type of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I had, um, and one of these, um, one of these um, episode, we had Tootsie Sushi go back. Um, we had looked at our craft card. Hey, hey, hey! No, Evie, go back, go back, go back to your spot. All right, there you go. Um, we had looked at our craft card, and originally, no, no, we're not, we're not gonna cry, we're crying for babies crying for babies <laughs> um we had looked at craft card and originally i had set up some not all some of my um pain makes me a stuff on the craft card but as i was organizing the rest of the space i decided until i get going quite a bit with toots sushi with the um with the multimedia stuff and know exactly what i'm gonna reach for i'm gonna take everything i have and put it into my um, my uh, sort of ink area. And that way um, I know where everything is and it's not all mixed up and oh. so forth. And then, you know, we'll worry about as I use them, I'll know which one I reach for the most. Then I will um, put those in the on the craft card. So anyway, here you're looking at um, the section of my, I have a lot of these. I don't know if you can see, but um, this is my beautiful, I absolutely, let me zoom it out so you can see a little bit. It's not all organized yet, but this is my um, Ikea Pax wardrobe system. I absolutely love it. I bought the highest one, which is the 94 inches high. It's almost to the ceiling, as you can see. And um, and I, two of the, these are the wide one. There's 39 inches almost 40 inches um wide shelving and drawers and um two of them i have them with see that's one that's two two of them i have them with uh, sliding doors um i thought it you know i figure it will keep the my room a little bit less messy i never really use these in my in my um closet but um i thought they would be wonderful for my craft room so anyway let me see if i need to zoom out probably not okay so let's get started with the bottom um yeah, yeah ink and stuff okay that's okay i'll just start right here um on one of the shelves you see how wonderful the shelves are it's it pulls out almost all the way it's not it's better than the the um the, you know, I don't remember what those are called since I don't have them in my room. I don't like the way they, they pull out the drawer and it's really losing a lot of spot. Um, so I, I never bought them. But, you know, the one that you guys, a lot of crafter have where they they have a um, a little bit a narrow one and the wider one. The, the kind of with drawers, with shallow drawers. So anyway, this is my version of it and I absolutely love it. So this particular drawer um, focus on a lot of my pencils and markers. So I have, I started over here on the left with watercolor um, uh, markers and paint. Um, and here you see, I have some of these that, you know, they were, these were Crafter Companion. They sell them like that, or they, they had them, they, they never sold them. They had them as part of the, with the pencil or the pen set and stuff like that. So you get it, you know, as part of the bundle. I bought most of these from HSN. And um, so I put them all there. I, I had a, a um, I got these, these awesome, um, and I still use them to this day, but they come with beautiful lids. They're about, I don't remember what the um, 
what the width and, and the height is, but they're really, really nice. But I got these when I was working in the laboratory, in the scientific laboratory, um, back when I was in the biotech industry. And I absolutely love them. I still have a whole bunch and I still use them to this day. And in here, I just have a lot of different, um, you know, like um, extras of the watercolor blending, blend, blending brush and stuff. Then I use another one to store like the one, the crappy, what do you call them? Um, the paint things that you get sometimes at a clearance at Michael's and stuff. And those are good for, they're just watercolor pens, a pa pan, pan, not pens, pan that the kids can play with and, and so on. So I have a, a few of those. I got this one too. This one I got from like um, something I bought at, um, uh, as a D stash and it was in there. Um, then I got this actually recently at, uh, um, not Home Goods, um, this one. I can't remember the the, the name, Buff Burlington Coat Factory. And it's just a really nice set of um, watercolor uh, pearlescent pan. Pan, see, pan. Um, anyway, then in back here, I have a bunch of, of uh, Spectrum Noir Aqua aqua markers i had some these were also came um with my d stash it's uh, the arteza watercolor tubes i had a whole bunch of those which is really nice these come from from dollar tree and then i bought all of the the whole set of maybe they have more now but the whole set of um color watercolor pencil um from spectrum noir that came with a tutorial and stuff this i got this I got from the just also watercolor pencil I got with the D stash and this I bought a long time ago and I've, I've used some of these but um, not not very much so I need to get going on that now that I can stamp um, because I bought recently the Misty and I have to break it up uh, break it out and use it now I can color my stamps and stuff which I have a lot of so and then here I have all of my um, regular color pencil God, I love this set I've had that for a long time the Prisma one really nice and big I pull some of them out to my desk that I use a lot but the rest of them I put here and then I got this um, metallic pencil uh, from Spectrum Noir recently I usually I try to have that on my desk too and then I had the some of these they're watercolor crayons <laughs> wow really old but um you know, I, I don't know how to use crayon per se, so I haven't used it too much. I guess just mix it with color and see, right? Then I got this pan case. It's a, you know, so you can mix paint and stuff from Altenu. Really nice one with a lot of different small sections from the D-Stash. I love that. Then I had a bunch of pencil and pens that markers that are to um, do hand coloring on a photograph to make it, you know, how the way you make it like a black and white photos to look kind of vintage and, and old-fashioned like back then which which I love I actually um, tried this before I haven't tried the um, photo coloring pencil this one yet um, anyway I got that a long time ago then I have some miscellaneous paint paint uh, paint pens that this one is like a blow pen which I figure is kind of like watercolory and then the puff paint pens which I got recently from Marshalls I got this from um you know the 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 washing the washing thingy the washing for your brushes and things but I haven't even used it yet I haven't set it up because I'm still organizing um from Amazon then in back here since I didn't have space down below these are all my um, re-inkers or, or extra inks for alcohol inks and so on. And so some alcohol blending solution and things like that. Because you'll see my, um, a lot of my alcohol markers is on my desk. Okay, so the next drawer, um, I focus on stamp, but really this is going to totally change because I now have my stamp set up at another place so i'm gonna have to take all these out and incorporate it into that but here i have some of my um, stamping platform i bought i tried the one from from aliexpress it was it was not very fancy very boring actually didn't care for that at all i got um, just a lot of different stamps and then of course all the the um 
brush thing what do you call these call these thing calls you know the spongers thing from different companies um, mostly from tim holtz and crafter companion and so on and then these type of thing that you got from um uh, ali or amazon i got those for my ink pads and and so on when i start to do that a bunch more and of course i got oh, just even more wooden stamp back there kind of more general i have tons of wooden stamp in another room completely because i have no space in here so that was the stamping section which will totally change and then on this drawer i have some additional uh, stamping platform that didn't fit up there i got one from we are memory keeper i got some the blocks to stamp to stamp stuff in so that when i changes this drawer i'm going to move them up here but the rest of here is all inks so i have inks separated by um, manufacturers so like for here i have i don't have very many of these but i have some from um just recently i started getting the the crafting companion one and my pajama sleeve just won't stay up okay um and so on so that was good i have some miscellaneous one down below too i also just got this i don't think i even show my haul yet but um these are the pearlescent the shimmer pearlescent pigment ink from crafter companion i got a really nice deal on there and th those again i store them in that clear um container or box that i got with lids that from a long time ago this section is all my anna griffin one and color box which is anna griffin inks uh, pads are made from color box and with those i store them in this really nice one because they're skinnier and so i store them in in this one i just got this recently when i last went to um uh, marshall or home goods and i was so happy with that i'll show you that in a in a haul in <laughs> whatever collected haul soon um and then so i got a couple of these these are just miscellaneous stuff a lot of stays on here and so and then i ran out the, the set that i bought from marshall only came with three of those so i went back to using my clear one and just to keep them from from staying firm i just took some some um cardboard and roll it up and just had it here so it keeps everything nice and sturdy um you know and that doesn't flop it around whatever the case may be so that's that then i just recently got some um hunky dory mini ink pads so i store them here see i haven't most of these as i told you i don't i didn't really start stamping yet um are like unopened um then i have some um four boxes of the tim holtz distress ink mini pads uh, mini ink pads and a couple of distress oxide large size tim holtz one there um which was on my cart but i moved again like i mentioned i move it here so that's that it's a little cumbersome to do with one hand and then the, in the back row i have all my glitters um store that's from art glitter this little cute ones and these were I believe i got them all from michael's when they had the sales yeah this was the recollection one they were good sales so i bought a bunch these were so also some good sales from from tonic studio the nouveau whatever so i got all different grade of glitter from fine to a little bit coarser and um then these are all my embossing uh, this is like those um those tray to eat lunch in <laughs> or whatever for kids um i got because i need them i like them to be a little bit shallow and um so these are all the embossing powder that i have nowadays uh, these were old i don't buy them anymore i just buy the the clear one and then use ink for that and then you know things like the glue or the whatever for embossing the embossing pad and stuff like that and then i even have i don't even know if they work anymore but i even had some marvy embossing pens so yeah interesting right I don't, I don't know if they have that anymore so that is my powder glitter whatever and then the last drawer on this uh, cabinet you see how much it holds and how heavy it can get is all my paint 
um, and I don't even use it at all, but I just went through and get rid of all the dry bottle and stuff. So these are all like still workable. Um, most of these over here I got from the D-Stash. I got, um, these are the, um, from, um, oh gosh, the company, a Ranger, the Ranger paint dauber, kind of pit Tim Holtz style. Then I got some district paint from paint Holt, Tim Holtz there. Got some chalk, um, stuff here. And then all my, a bunch of my extra brushes is back here. And so on, I have quite a bit and I just store them in one of those, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, a stationary organizer and which was broken so i tape it all up with some um that that pink tape that match everything <laughs> that is a um electrical ele is it called electrical tape yeah something like that um then i had some bunch of miscellaneous um stuff here some of which um was for like to make i don't know so just whatever and then these are just paint just acrylic paint and so on. These two are new. I got this is a paint pouring, pouring paint. Not sure exactly what that means. I think it's just mean it's thinner and from Little Birdie. And then these are the um, the one from um, the one from um, Doris that I got as a whole set. And these are some sales one I got from Hobby Lobby and things. And um, I even have like these are palette paint palette i haven't got one that's are like past pastel something pastel chalk and so on okay so that's the rest of my paint then i'm gonna um come right back and show you where i have my markers so most of my marker is right next to me um although i don't really use them <laughs> right now to my uh, workstation or work desk and these are mostly, I have, I don't have any Copic or anything like that. These are all, um, uh, what do you call that? Alcohol markers from Spectrum Noir. I also have some sparkle, sparkle pens from Spectrum Noir. And I just separate them. Before I was using those tray that separate each pen. And it was just taking so much space. And I don't like the height of them. So I just consolidated them to this. And that seems to work really well. I have some neutrals here and so on and then they're separate by colors over there then these are all sparkle pen then i have some other miscellaneous um pens here you know like the the gel pens and you know the mal mal liner and things like that i have up here but i don't have too much of that i can't even remember what these are um what are these don't know anyway so that is where i store most of my ink stuff so i hope you find this um oh and this container was from like a, a desktop con um a desktop container that was meant to be to go on top of the michaels the recollection cubes and so they fit the cubes perfectly so that they're like 13 by 13 or whatever um anyway the link of everyone that's participating this month hop is down below. So please click them and check out their video and their channel. And if you like this kind of content um, and, uh, and uh, so on, please consider liking the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscri subscribers soon. Actually, it's, I just looked at it. It's pretty close. I probably need to announce my um, um, or invite people to a YouTube hop my own youtube hop as well as uh, do a um a subscriber giveaway in any case hope you're having a great day it's kind of gray out over here today today is actually only friday um and this is going to go up on sunday so hope you guys are well thanks again for all my um loyal subscribers who keep coming back even though i've been kind of naughty and don't don't do the videos as often as i should but I promise us it will soon go back to normal. Alrighty, talk to you soon. Bye for now.